Well, and with, with Manfred changing some of the rules, and obviously he's not, I think a lot of people blame him, but the players voted on this, so it's not just him. He kind of helps mediate all of that. Um, right. But with Manfred, um, so we'll just put his name out there, um, people seem to be very mad at him for changing certain rules. And one thing I've noticed, that people hate the pitch clock. And I'm, I'm the complete opposite. I love it, quite frankly. Yeah, same. Um, I don't understand why people hate that more than they hate the bigger bases. I'm not a big proponent of that. How do you think that's going to affect stolen bases, catchers throwing um, runners out, their you know, caught stealing percentage? How do you think the bigger bases will have an overall effect in the game? Um, if at all. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm, ca- I'm right? kind of in, yeah, yeah. I'm kind of indifferent. Um, mm-hmm. You won't have that one or two plays at first base where uh, a year where uh, there's a, pretty terrible collision or a rolled ankle or a whatever, because there's obviously space there now. Yeah. Um, that's, I, I don't see much. I, I mean, big bases have been tested for a while and I didn't see that much difference. Like, let's be honest. And it's start, it's starting to change more this year because you see some stone base numbers going through the roof in the minor league. So teams are prioritizing that to develop a little bit more, but like for the last like eight, 10 years, like nobody steals bases. Right. Like, yeah. ever doesn't even try yeah. that's the problem it's like that's what's missing is like people and, and they say it's the analytical world but like uh, i'm pretty sure if you walked into an analyst office he'd say i would love you to s- swipe that bag like i would want you to gain um that uh, for us and so um it's just like the mentality of the player has changed and so like they don't even do it but on, on, regarding the pitch clock because that affects kind of how i think a little bit on the pitching side it's like sure. i love it like, I love it. Like, I'm, yeah. I'm, when I played, I was more like the Mark Burley type that didn't take two seconds before the next throw. Like, I wanted to get after you. Like, I was competing with everything I had, but um, I like to go. Like, I want to go. And so, like, there's so much, like, slow it down, think about it, all that stuff. No, like, let's go get in somebody's tail right now. Like, let's attack yeah. you. Um, I think that's going to be good for it. Um, there's, there's, if you go back and watch games in the early 90s, late 90s, even early 2000s, and watch pitchers attack, there's a handful that are slower than molasses. But there's majority of them are, are the same. They're getting after it. They're trying to attack you because they're trying to pitch. Right. We live in the world now. They're trying to throw hard all the time, yeah. not pitch. And so, like, can we – and it's starting to come back. Don't get me wrong. We're trying to marry in the pitching and the throwing hard together, which – we all need that. Um, everybody does, but um, I think what that a luxury to have a bunch of pitchers and scout a bunch of pitchers who not only know how to pitch but know how to throw hard. Isn't that yeah. the- stuff? I mean, that's the yeah. that would be fantastic. Yeah, um, right. I would love to have a I would love to have a hitter and talk about a hitter who can hit home runs and has a ceiling of thirty five to forty homers a year and hit three thirty. <laughs> yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah. yeah, that would be awesome. Yeah, it's like I was watching a Yankee game the other day in in the office because. Um, I forget his name. So his twins pitcher who's make his major league debut. My uh, director of pitching performance, uh, Brecken Williams, who um, went to Mizzou and played in the minor leagues for a long time, he was teammates with this kid. And so he wanted to see his debut on TV. And they talked about him in the pitch clock because he was getting after somebody's tail. Like mm-hmm. it was quick. It was like 10, 10, 12 seconds, like just getting after it. And they were like, oh, it looks like the pitch clock is working. It's like, yeah, if you, if you tell people like, hey, let's get it going – like, and there's a rule behind it that's going to make them adjust. And I think yeah. that's the thing that we needed is it went too far to the, let me think about this. Let me do this. Uh, okay. 28 seconds later, um, like Pedro Baez is like, I'll never forget that for like he took forever. Well, who's the guy uh, for the Mets in the late nineties? Oh, shoot. The right-hander. He took, forever. Uh, he took Traxel. Like Traxel. See, Traxel. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah I remember him more as a cub, but yet yeah, most definitely a um, yeah. It's like two minutes. The dude took two minutes in between pitches, but like you can tell, like you go to a game and you know what game, what what starters are on the mound, yeah, and what game's going to be four and a half hours, and what game's going to be two hours and twenty seven minutes. Like you know it based on the pitcher and how his tempo is, and so um, yeah, I, I think to answer your long to be long winded in your uh, answering your question i think um bases i'm indifferent because there'll be some that help out from an injury perspective but i don't know i'm not smart enough to tell you what it's going to work on the base like stolen bases things but i don't see that much of an advantage but 
pitch clock will make the game go a little quicker because there won't be so much downtime. So I like that. But um, we didn't talk about the shifts, but that'll be interesting to police. Um, but I, I mean, I, I don't care. Whatever they make it, we'll, we'll still, I'll still love the game and, and adjust to what the rules are. But it's not all Rob Manford. So, and I'm very aware of that. Um, but at the same time, like when you're the commissioner and when you are, when you're in leadership and you're at the top, it's it, being at yeah. the top is hard and um, people are coming for you. And so um, they don't like to see you succeed no matter what. And so that's unfortunately the world we live in. But at the same time, that's what you sign up for. So, well, you mentioned a key word in there, adjust. And that's kind of what in a way, and you obviously know better coaching is right. That you have mm -hmm. to adjust and that's, you know, that's everything. If you're on base in baseball operations, college or pro, you just got to adjust. Things change. I mean, it cha right. rules change in the NFL every year. For some reason, baseball rules, people love to just stick to what worked back in 1962, right? Right. But, I mean, the NFL changes rules every year. So why can't baseball do it? I, I There's this – I don't understand how everybody's always so stuck on these these certain types.